really does sound great. I don't know if anybody likes to use the binaural beats and the frequencies and different stuff like that. On um, the inner standing, I forget what is it, what is his name. It's it's some he's got a school, uh, it's the Seven Bomar School on their uh, open source sh uh, stuff. They have some frequencies on uh, that you can download. Uh, the list, he's got the frequency list, it tells you like 55 hertz, what that is, I think that's like 5.5 uh, .5 is knowing, like having be knowing, you want to have knowing, you play 5.5, .5. the Schumann resonance for Mother Earth, that's really good for if you want to meditate and connect in and use the Schumann res resonance as a carrier wave for other frequencies, now I'm just playing the Euphoria frequency, or Nirvana, I'm not sure, it's on one of these apps I have, and um, I've got another one, once you start to build upon the frequencies, you'll get like, it's very strange, if you like to play music, then uh, I would advise you to um, play bass, play guitar, with uh, some of these tones in the background, you will get some strange effects. There's been a lot of, like, earthquakes and stuff here lately. And, you know, all of us, we should know that, um... I was talking about this with uh, Red Feather yesterday. I've got a buddy of mine, Red Feather. I'd like to get him on for, um... He's quite a sensational YouTuber at some point in time. He's a hardcore, um... Hippie sort of a cultist. But me and this guy are born on the same day. Not the same year, but we're both born on September the 4th. And, um... It's very odd. You know, he's taller. He's a military guy. Uh, I think his galactic tone is yellow seed, which is the one that that's that's the where I'm supposed to focus my work. You know, it's as if I'm a white wizard. So we're about to go into white magnetic wizard. And yesterday began a uh, blue magnetic eagle. Those are the waves. Instead of the weeks, you have the waves. But I do continue to talk about that. I did want to say something about Fukushima. And another, um, from all the flooding, there's been those rivers that have flooded up all into the Mississippi have carried up a bunch of stuff. Now, I got this from watching, I watch uh, Mr. MB3333333333333333. Um, for a lot of, um, weather type shit, you know, um, and some other channels, but he's really good on reporting some of the phenomenal weather, you know, and, and like, we also, you know, we're, we have a lot of UVC coming down from the sun because of, um, that's really dangerous for us, if you get, it'll burn you, you don't want to get burnt and do, and have cancer and all that shit, so, the earth is definitely going through earth changes, and, you know, I smoke, you know, and, and I'm, I'm a, I'm a barbarian, sort of a, um, um, hippie. Not really a hippie or a tree hugger or new ager like that. So I have bad habits. I don't pretend to be, I'm raised my frequency all the way. No, I'm a man. I live in a man's world. and But I'm a spiritual being, so I'm not from the world, but I'm passing through it. I very much have my heart aligned with Christ. You know, I feel that that's important. You know, I'm not going to get on to you about your religion. I don't care what your sexual orientation is. If you think those things are a big deal, and we've got polluted earth, we've got things that we can be doing, and you're you're just going to focus on your little sexuality, I want to identify as a fucking a brown paper sack bullshit, then you've got some problems. Because we've really got some shit we could be doing and talking about. And, you know, that's that's real shit. You know, I do know I'm not going to go so conspiracy theorist into the Matrix that I'm going to say, you know, they've done this to you, but uh, you, you've allowed that, you know, and there has been some treachery. We've, we've been living in a very predatory world with a lot of predatory systems that aren't very um, set up to really do the things that we believe that they've been doing. And if you don't, if you haven't come to that point awakened yet, and then... You really need to, because we really need everybody on board to, like, work on the earth and try to fix uh, our shit. If we as humans can fix our shit, and we do have some shit to fix, 
then we can mitigate a lot of these earth problems. Uh, that's another thing that it says from a lot of the old texts, and I believe it bears out true, that a lot of the earth changes, like the volcanic stuff, that does have a direct relationship with our inner life and how we, um, you know, we could be uh, causing... If we heal ourselves internally, we see a lot of the outer manifestations, like of the Illuminati shit, to vanish. And that's true. I put that to practice. There was something out there before that I thought was really fucked up and evil, and I went and I worked on some of my own shit. And there was no more outward manifestation to that. And I won't bring it into... I won't even speak the name of it, because it, it no longer exists. And I'm not going to create it. I'm not. But I have a definite memory of something that was in the reality, in the timeline, whatever you want to call it before. So that just goes to show you, you know, um, we all come to different points where we realize the power that we have. So, but now it's really important that we empower each other from that perspective. And if you can do that, then um, you really will be an aid to your fellow man. And you really will be doing something good in the world. And it's got to be part of your destiny. That's all I wanted to say today. I like to keep it simple been thinking about Fukushima we also have this going on at the Gulf of Mexico because there's a 500 mile plume of that uh, toxic water there's a name for it I don't know what it is but everything dies in it so don't expect to be getting uh, really good seafood from the Gulf of Mexico and that's our nearest seafood food so there you go Snickle Fritz Jones signing out